Look out. Footy's back. Welcome to AFLW Today, your one-stop shop for the greatest game in the world, AFLW. I am your host, Alex Donnelly. Joined, as always, by this week, someone who's been on probably more podcasts than me, Bryony Dawson. <laughs> I did notice that. Lots of podcasts. Yeah, yeah you like big that? Yeah, I really like it. Big podcaster. I'm big, um, big on the podcast. <laughs> and every time someone's ever asked me, like, do you want to do a podcast? You, you should start a podcast. I'm like, yeah. You do enough. Not into him. <laughs> <laughs> and over there, it's the little fella. His team's Whoa. on top of the ladder. It's the stats guy. Let's go. North Whoa. are up and about. I'm very excited for ladder check because of, uh, yeah, North, obviously. And, yeah, good to be back. It's also Liam McCallion for those who have who are tuning in for the first time. If you're yes. watching us on YouTube, you know exactly who the stats guy is. If you're tuning in for the first time, thank you. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. So every time that we drop a video, it comes up in your feed. We've also got AFL Today, the men's show, on this channel as well. Only a couple more shows left in the season because, honestly, who cares about trade season? It's all about the dub. Yes. Woo! Make sure you subscribe on the podcast apps. Wherever you get a good podcast, just search AFL Today. It'll come up. That and the men's show all in the same feed. Five stars review, all that good stuff. Of course, social media, Facebook, X, TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. AFLW Today, AFLW Today AU. Just get around it, please. That'd be awesome. Anyway, we're here to review... Week six. Week six. Week six. Yes. I'm yes. So Correct. Confused. Week six. There's a, it's a lot of games going on, but definitely week like, six. Yeah. Homer <clears> in the donut <throat> machine. Feed me footy. Yeah, <laughs> more footy. But I just, I just call it like a round. Like I know teams are behind on games, but <laughs> seriously, I'm just so confused. <laughs> anyway, we're here to review all the stuff. But before that, we will take a quick look on the weekend. Unfortunately, the quick look always involves injury news. Thankfully, I don't think we had an ACL this week. No, oh. possibly an MCL. The fact that we're celebrating that for just one week is sad, but yeah, that, that's a good thing. That's a good yeah. thing. It's not great. Uh, Lauren Ahrens went off for the Western Bulldogs on yeah, not good. Saturday afternoon. Foot injury. That's mm. not great. No. She's been holding up the dog's defense all year. Do we have any more info on that? No. I was, I was trying, look, to, I was I trying to search around and yeah. find that. I got foot. I reckon it'll be. I got I got foot. Just yeah. foot. foot. <laughs> I got, that sounds great. Like American. Uh, great. No, no update. I reckon it'll be in the next couple of days. That's really disappointing yes. for them because she has been. A rock. Stand out. Yeah, mm, a yeah. rock for them this mm -hmm. season. Yep. Amber Clark potentially has an MCL. It sounds bad that we're hoping that it's only an MCL because mm -hmm. that's how bad our year's been. Yep. Physio Birch on the commentary is like, this is exactly how I did my MCL. Da, 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 da. I learned something watching that yesterday. Yeah. It was uh, very enjoyable. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we had a scary one, which we didn't really get to see, which is probably kind of good. Early from Hawthorne, went down with an apparent neck issue. It was we like an, a, an elbow to the neck, but you couldn't weird. really see it because it was really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Now, stats guys <clears throat> made that sound horrendous. It was in a marking contest. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, just throwing elbows, just three <laughs> dockers, just like, you know what, we're losing. What <laughs> It's not a WWE. It's just, just AFLW. The Rock returned yeah. yesterday, by the way. Oh, my God. I didn't even, I didn't even care about that. But, yeah, Eadley, yeah, that was that looked really bad. Uh, but uh, looks like she was okay. Did you hear that uh, this morning, Alex, I think? Yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't hear that she was an issue. Not, well, not okay because any neck issue was fine. But yeah. is in good spirits, cleared of like significant. Okay, okay that's great. Will be assessed if she can fly home. Yeah. So you know, because it's a long way to WA. My cousin's actually driving to Perth right now because she's moving there from Albury. They've been on the road for six days. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Right. Her and her mum. It's like my Instagram feed is. Just, it's very close <laughs> to being muted. Just I'm like, okay, I get it. You're on oh, the road. I love a cheeky mute. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, not this week, mate. No, yeah. I'm good. Just, yeah. well, just for a couple. I've got days. through the week, so I think they're in like Albany now. So like they're there. Yeah. It's okay. Fine. Great. <laughs> uh, and Stone and Stratton ankle issues out of the Hawthorne game too. So we'll see how that. Yeah. Hopefully they're out. right. But yeah. They, yeah. One of them, I think it was Stratton, looked bad, but yeah, Stone should be okay. I think that covers it. Yes. Any major injuries? That's good. Do we want to touch on the uh, Matty Prasparkas thing now or do we want to wait till we get to yeah, the... Yeah, we can do it. Let's talk about All it right. now. All right. So Essendon beat Sydney on Wednesday night. That sounds about right. Uh, Matty Prasparkas was on the bench for the last eight minutes because I'm assuming they got their rotations wrong. Anyway, some, I'm going to say, knob jockey has <laughs> gone into the DMs of Matty Prasparkas and has basically called her fat. Yeah. And Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, That's because yeah. she's had 19 disposals <laughs> and this person has missed their multi because, you know, getting into someone's <laughs> oh, DMs. Yeah, you missed the multi. That is the lowest of the yeah, low people call, messaging Calling players. her out for only getting 19 disposals. So, Shut first up. of all, this person is apparently a Sydney Swans fan. I speak on behalf of all Sydney Swans fans. You are not a Sydney Swans fan. Yes. Get the bloody hell out of our fan base and take the Errol Goulden photo down. 
Absolutely disgusting, abhorrent, has no place in our world. But I'm a white guy talking about it, so I can't really talk. I'm going to handball this one to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's really disappointing. Um, there's been a, a few players over the years in the AFLW who have copped that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's just no place for it in the game. I, it, like, you, you, you just don't see that stuff happening in the men's competition. Mm. Body um, shaming is gross. No, it's yeah, horrible, it's horrible. just it's just horrific. And these players already have to put up with so much. There's so much guinea pig testing in the AFLW and that kind of thing. Um, and they shouldn't have to put up with that at all. Right. So just I'm not gonna swear because <laughs> we're a, do, yeah. we're a family show. <laughs> yes. But just all of the ones that you can conjure up, that's how I feel mm. um about it. But um good on Maddie. She's a really um a mentally tough person yep. and, and it really it really shook her. Um, so shout out to Mads. Hope you're doing all right and and well done on um, Essendon and the rest of the AFL getting around Maddie. We yeah. love the goal celebration too. Yeah, the goal I know. Yeah. I think she came out and kicked two. She's yeah. like, boom, 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 multi that. <laughs> yeah, but she did, did the old when Dane Swan got called fat all these years ago. Yeah. He, rubbed his, he rubbed his stomach. She lifted yeah. up the shirt. I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Getting my tip wrong, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, so you Happened to go through some horrendous weather on Saturday. Oh my God, it was just. I didn't know where you were going there. Yeah, Yeah. it was was horrendous. Yeah, it was horrendous. It was, there was lightning, there was rain, there was everything. It was basically everything you could get in a Melbourne day while there was games of football on. It was wonderful. There was games at Arden Street and the Swinburne Centre. Wouldn't it be great if the (laughs) AFL owned a stadium to put a double header on? It's like, you know what? This weather's actually going to suck. Let's move the games to Marvel and play a double header. That's right. They do own a stadium (laughs) with a roof. Oh, I don't you, know. You get pretty angry about this. I don't think it's that easy just to like go, oh, because Melbourne, you don't know until the week of, like, I don't know. Oh, I, you know, the <laughs> AFL owns the stadium. Yeah. And how cool would double headers be, though? It I, would be awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, I would love it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I absolutely agree with you. Um, when I walked into Marvel a couple of weeks ago for a corporate, mm. I looked out there and there's a, a golf driving range on there. Oh, yeah, they that's, filled, that's annoying, they filled yeah. it with like bunkers and greens. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? We're playing Rude. games out at Frankston. Swinburne, Frankston, Fr- like all the, and I'm like, Get this into the big stadium. is not okay. The Bombers played, was it the Hawks last season at Marvel? Or yeah. Season? And now they packed out. Open the season. Yeah, it's open. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. They should definitely play some games there. They yeah. should absolutely play some. This weekend, the weekend was playing there. So I get that it's sold as a stadium and people need to blah, blah, blah. Mm. Yes, I great. I probably made like a couple mil off that. Yes, and we need the AFL to make a couple of meals so they can invest in <laughs> AFLW. So yes, yes. there is there it is multi layered. It is uh, yeah. It's, there's there's a lot of things going on there. Yes, absolutely, we need awesome to play there. in there. Mm-hmm. If AFLW was making as much in a stadium as the weekend, possibly <laughs> we'd get in there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, true. I'm, yeah, I'm true. pro finals being played at the stadium though, because then you I get agree. Finals, yeah, they get a bigger have a crowd. Deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the cricket's in there by then, mate. I think oh, there's a cricket God. pitch. Yeah, 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 there is actually. Oh yeah, yeah, I just just what I need to see Aaron Finch playing more cricket. He's he's retired, but that, that's I, another from the Renegades. <laughs> get on the Cricket Today podcast. We'll be talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the one time the AFL Today show will be pro close the roof. Yeah, on the men's show we we open the roof. Oh, you're an open roof. Yeah, no, you are. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy. I'm very happy with the close roof. But yeah, I'm happy with it. Oh, I'm happy with the close roof. That means also. Gold Coast and Fremantle next year have to play each other at Frankston. Then just to even it up. Okay, <laughs> right, okay, done. whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the ladder check. Of course, after this last final midweek sesh, we will actually have like a proper ladder that makes sense. The way everyone's played the same amount. Because yeah. pre-show, Brian was like, what are Adelaide doing in fifth? Well, that's because they're a game behind everyone. Yes. So currently we have North Melbourne on top of the yes. ladder. Yes. 311%. Yeah, just go and look at that percentage because that is that is unbelievable. That's 311. Off the charts, yeah. isn't oh, it? It's crazy. That's ridiculous. Only allowed in four points of the weekend. Of course, the Brisbane Lions are in second. The Hawthorne Hockballers up Woo! to third with the big win yesterday against Fremantle. Richmond into fourth on the back of having a game in hand. Adelaide are down to fifth because they've only played six games. Freo, they're, they're playing finals. Like you Yeah, they're two. doing really they're well. They're playing mm-hmm. finals. Mm-hmm. They're, they're in there. I never doubted him. Essendon. <laughs> back in the eight. They're into seven. <laughs> Lol. Top Didn't... four Dons is back on, baby. No. Let's go. Wait, Did you no pick them this week? I no. picked him against the Swans. Oh, How yeah, did you not pick him against the Suns, though? Because it, it would have been the most Essendon thing ever to go to the <laughs> go, like, like they did this year in the men's program. True, yeah. true. 
West Coast, still there. They probably threw one away over the weekend. They're in a bit of strife. Port Adelaide off the back They're of that big back win. Up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two in a row now after losing three on the bounce. St. Kilda in free fall, three on the bounce and still haven't scored more than 23 points in a game since yeah. round two. Yeah, that's a big worry. That's They've they're slid from we what we... We were talking about their offense in the first two rounds. Yeah. They're going to be like Whee! up there in the offense. They went full Ross. Oh, yeah. then they've gone too defensive. Yeah. Geelong up to 11th after beating the Swans yesterday. The Swans had a painful week. We'll talk about that later. Uh, they're two and five. Melbourne are two and four. They beat GWS in not a great spectacle. Uh, the Dogs, Carlton, GWS, Collingwood, and Gold Coast make up the rest. Gold Coast still without a win and don't look like getting close no, to it at the moment. No. And Collingwood <laughs> were horrible against Richmond. I know the weather wasn't great, but before that, they weren't good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And GWS and Carlton, you got smoked. <laughs> Yeah, at least the dogs would be happy with a bit of improvement. Well, the dogs uh, have won a couple of games. Obviously They're not happy. against North, mm-hmm. but they've won a couple of games. Yep. yep. All right, let's get into the review of the weekend. Let's have a chat about these games. So going all the way back to Thursday night, Melbourne Demons finally got back into the winner's circle. 6-5-41, defeating GWS 3-7-25. This game wasn't great, but Melbourne had the awesome idea. Like, hey, Kate Hall needs the football. Yeah. What are we going to do? Midfield Kate Hall. Well, they, they, they teased that in the in the uh, preseason, and we're like, oh, we're not sure if that's going to work. But they, they haven't been getting enough ball, uh, yeah, ball winning ability in there, so they've chucked yep. it in there, mm-hmm. and it, it really worked. Twenty seven touches, twelve clearances. Maybe this is a sign of things to come before they take on Adelaide this week. Ooh, yes. <laughs> it's like, yes. Oh, yeah, they've got uh, Marin but, and Anne in there. Yeah, okay. I don't think she's that. Yeah, that type of player to dominate against Adelaide though. But they it's, need to get the ha- the footy in yeah, her hands yeah, to do yeah. that. This is what happens. And yep. uh, they they actually killed the Giants in transition through mm-hmm. this game. And it yep. was just like. It was a little bit ye Melbourne of old. <laughs> ye yeah. Melbourne. I like that. But yeah. is this it like. Was. It was. Oh, yeah. It's the Giants. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm not really believing it. Uh, they had to play super defensive, the Giants, which really doesn't suit them because they just They like to play really yeah. attacking. And straight, yeah. straight from the midfield, they just go, go, yeah. go. And then they're like, oh. Kate Horse just got <laughs> 20 touches in this quarter. We yeah. better uh, put a few players around yeah. there. So, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, not like them usually. I thought it was great to see Alyssa Bannon is probably one of my favourite yes. players snap from Melbourne. That snap was mm. amazing. Um, she had a dish off to Pisano after that. So she ended up with a couple of goals and copped one in the nose as well. She had a she had a blood, blood nose. Well, yeah, no good. Came off. Strapped up. The strapped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, oh, what game was I watching? Someone literally had plaster over their nose over the weekend. I mean, what, really? Was in. Yeah. It was in one of the games. I was, like, I was just like, oh, it's that weird. Wild. <laughs> yeah, that's I weird. I need to figure out who it was. <laughs> um, I thought um, Beeson was Beeson? Really, really, really good for really the good. Giants. Yep. Um, 28, dispo- 28 disposals. Uh, friend of the pod, Elise Parker, yes. had a ripper game too. She was everywhere, 29 disposals. Um. What else have I the got The Giants here? were never in this game, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. okay, the never, never in the game. The score looks closer than it, than yeah, it was, yeah, I think. Melbourne could have 100%. kicked a few more. They didn't uh, probably take the most of their chances. Like, they could have probably got 60-plus points the way they played. They yeah, played really, Yeah, so their really efficiency well. inside 50 was only 33%. Yeah, yeah. They oh, had there you go. 13 shots from 40 inside 50s. So Ooh. they still don't have like solid forward line options yeah. to be able to get those get those goals on the board when they get it in there. Yeah. Yeah. They need another player sort of outside of Bannon or outside of Hall when she's playing forward to kick a, just at least two. Like well, you've got Bannon kicking we, two. We know who it is. She just, you know, has a broken face. That's true. Tell it. Yeah. Tell yeah. Harris. Or Liv Purcell. Yeah. And Liv, Liv Purcell. Purcell. Sorry, yeah. Liv Purcell's injured. Yes. Yes. Um, so there's some interesting stats here. Um, Giants actually had a, more of the ball. They had 40 really? more yeah, disposals. They, they mm. had a similar disposal efficiency, <laughs> but they just couldn't get it into their forwards. Um, they only had 28 inside 50s compared to Melbourne's 40. Yeah, good call. Um, and they did take more marks inside 50 as well, seven compared to Melbourne's mm. four. Um, but Melbourne were just able to mm. able to clear easily, um, and Giants only laid four tackles inside their 50. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's brutal. Like, that's pretty yeah. – like – I that's feel like that's great. a massive thing in uh, men's and women's footy. It's just if you get lock it in your forward line, especially yeah. women's when you're trying to get it n- another quick goal, yeah. Yeah, you've got to try and lock it in there. Yeah. Otherwise, it's coming straight back out. 100%. Yeah. Fan bases, D's are like, good, maybe. I Sure, we won. They're like, yeah. Oh, 100%. They'll be very happy. They will 100% take the win. Because like sure. Bryony said, they, they did have their old sort of style and brand a yeah. little bit. But it was, Jenna Bears aren't going too well, I know. Yeah. But at least they played a bit more attacking and, and got the yeah, free-flowing free footy back. The Giants are just like, Zali's still cool. Like, <laughs> she kicked a good goal. Like, Zali is still nah. cool. Actually, yeah. She's I, still the, cool. She didn't have a 
The, she wasn't that game, the one thing I saw from Giants fans, uh, there's actually one like really vocal Giants fan on social media, like not a bad fan. Yeah. Which is like, hey, the Swans got free public transport to Henson. Can we get that next week? Yeah. The, the Swans Gi- fans? Oh, they no, no. The, the Giants fans want the free public trans from um, it's the train station. They just want the shuttle bus. Yeah. To get to Henson That's, Park. That seems fair. You know yeah. what? That's what they're on about. Like, come on, public transport, help us out. We want to get to have some tins on the hill. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's fair. That's fair. Mm. Anyway, you, let's get to... Um, f- the, the Melbourne um, girls were out there on the sideline. Like, they yeah. were right behind me because I, oh, yeah. I was with Fox that game. Yep. And they were so loud and so vocal. Um, and I saw... Who's who's the one that's had from Melbourne who got the face? Olivia. Olivia Purcell. Yeah. Purcell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was there. Face fully bruised. I was oh, like, really? that she's, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be, yeah. that's brutal. Yeah. Brutal. That's not good. No. All right, let's get to Friday night, Norwood Oval. Adelaide 3 8 26 beats St Kilda 3 4 22. Saints, as said above, haven't scored more than 23 points since around two. It's that's a real worry. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah. When, when they've got a few good forwards, uh, yeah, we said earlier on in the season they were relying a bit too much on Wardlaw. And then there's not enough probably goals from their midfield. But maybe they were just trying to go defensive because that was the only way they were, could beat Adelaide. And it, it was pretty close. They only got within four points. So you wouldn't think, have thought that. I think Adelaide are in a mid-season slump. Yeah. yeah. They, well, were, they just don't care as they much. Weren't, the they weren't good. <laughs> like there was, still, there was still like their key players yes. um, up and about. Marinoff, 31 Marinoff. disposals, yep. nine clearances, 17 17 tackles. tackles is just nuts. Yeah, um, that felt kind of insane. That, yeah. that is just crazy. But – um. I wasn't expecting it to be this close mm. at all. Yeah. Um, Ella but, Friend needs to lift, by the way. Just yeah. Side note. Both teams were terrible efficiency inside 50. Yeah. Adelaide were 39%, so 14 shots from 36 inside, and St Kilda were 27%, six shots from 22 yeah. um, inside 50. Adelaide always bringing the tackling pressure, so 89 to 68. Yep. Um, and St Kilda led marks by 10. Yeah, that felt right. Yeah, so okay. Chipping it around mm. a little bit, and Adelaide were just a Trying little Trying to slow them down. Yeah. And Adelaide were sloppy going forward. Actually, I did enjoy the game of Madison Newman. Like, yeah. She yeah. feels good. Ton of speed. I yeah. know she's mm-hmm. TikTok famous and all that. Mine yard showed a bit of speed. That oh, goal. Yeah. Yeah. That's that one of the goal goals hat. of the season. Like, I reckon that's going to be up there for goal of the year. I think it is. Oh, we'll do I a social clip. We saw one on Sunday that was pretty oh, good. Like, who? Oh. We'll get there. We'll get oh, there. <laughs> spoil it. Spoil it. Yeah. Stay tuned in, folks. Yeah, <laughs> can't we'll wait. No, but she like arched her back in the yard and like it looked like she was going to get caught twice. And then she yeah. just went through. That was awesome. One of the yeah. goals of the year. I wrote down here as well the uh, Kelly sisters, the Irish uh, oh, girls, yeah. played against each other again. They combined for forty touches. So the, they're both just the mum and dad it. flew out for it. Yeah, oh, so that was pretty nice. cool. First time they've like played that. against yeah. each other. You know, I like a heartfelt story. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. even I said that to my partner Steph. I was like, oh, that's their parents. Like, why are they there? It's like it's the first time the sisters have played. She's like, no, second time. First time since twenty twenty. Okay, well, that'd yeah. be, that couldn't fly out in 2020. No, so. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. There you go. COVID stats, guy. There you go. Uh, anyone watching this think the lighting was weird? No. A little bit, but yeah, a little bit. Maybe yeah. you need to get your eyes checked. I was just watching it. <laughs> it feels dark. It was yeah. dark. I think some of the grounds, the ones you get further out, I don't yeah. know, the lighting isn't as good. But You yeah. notice those little nuances. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. I'm just there for I, footy. You're just I like pick up chips, weird lights. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Anything it's like mouth guards. Um, mouth guards. Shiloh Curtis, yep. who is on Fox with me, she was like, we were at Punt Road on Saturday and she was like, you know, it was raining and we're talking about the rain and the wet ground. She's like, no, great drainage here at Punt Road. It really <laughs> yeah, it does. Quite, and I'm just I like, wouldn't even know that either. Of yeah. course you know about the drainage <laughs> yeah. at bloody Punt Road Oval, mate. It's the same at Flemington Stats, Guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, actually, you know that about drainage. racing. Okay. Great yeah. drainage. Oh, yeah. There you go. Whoa. We should have a whole segment about drainage. I reckon <laughs> give the people what they want. All the weird things that I've picked up on this year, that's a that's a segment right <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this game was super sloppy. The Crows just, it's like, all right, well, all right, all right. We're going to win it. Yeah. Never, not really been convincing in, lately though, as yeah, Barney yeah. said. Yeah, but we're just this season slump. Mm. Well, there might have been. There was a bit of bit of flatness <laughs> after the uh, the Brisbane game. Yeah, hundred percent. Well. That's why I thought you know they would have bounced back yeah. and been like, oh Had god, score, we need yeah. it. Yeah, just get get dubs. Mm. All that matters. Get yeah, they got to win, so they'll take fan that. bases are like, yeah, cool. Like we beat St Kilda, but Saints are, Saints fans would be disappointed though. They started the season really well, and then since then, oh yeah, Saints fans all. are like, oh, what the hell is happening? Mm. Like they've just lost all their run and gun. It's been weird. Yep. Well, Adelaide's got Melbourne next, so that'll Ooh, be a uh, yeah. interesting one. Norwood again? Or... Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to preview that game yeah. later. Anyway, Saturday, North Melbourne, 8 11, 59, beat the Western Bulldogs, four. Yes, four. Yeah. So we, we saw some life from the dogs, but now we're back to round two dogs. Yeah. 
In fairness, well, they're north of the best top, team. Yeah, yeah. Top, top of the ladder. But they were up against the North Melbourne without without Emma Carney, like, you know, on yeah. the sideline with a long-term hammy. And then you go, hey, Louis Birch, just step up and, uh, yeah. Literally yeah, the only got- team that's like, yeah, it's fine. I think you, you could get rid of any player, even Garner Redu- You could get rid of any player yeah, yeah, yeah. from Whoa. North, and they would still win. they would have still won this game. You get by 50. their names out of your mouth. No, I've got that. I want it. I go for not. I want them to play every game. I want them to like play. I don't want them to go off. But yeah. I think North were going to win this game with with even with a few outs. Yeah. We need to retract. You also need to on our North Melbourne no good in the wet theory. Nah, I'm not retracting on that. No, I'm not retracting either. They've played their last <laughs> three in the wet. I know, I know, but. It's I'm, rained sideways. I'm still 50-50. They, they, was, they was full on on the weekend. They they copped that yeah. bull And Jazz Garner's like, ball. bring it. Jazz Garner was awesome in the wet. Was it? Yeah, two yeah. goals, just 20 disposals. Absolutely awesome. Like, yeah, I, I, I think I have to retract my, my they hate the wet game because Fair enough. they didn't like it against uh, Port Adelaide, but it was genuinely hailing sideways. <laughs> they got it done in Tassie last week, and now they're getting it done here against the Dogs. Like, they... The first half, the dogs put up a bit of a fight. They, they led, did, didn't they? They led possessions in inside fifties and North. Like, ah, right, that's enough. I was going to say, I was like, going to yeah. say that they actually, yeah, looked okay. They just couldn't. It's the same, similar to earlier in the season where we went to see them at the MCG against Port. They actually had a lot of the ball, mm. but they just couldn't finish and, and yeah. get some goals on the, on the And they gave away some really silly um, free kicks <laughs> directly in front of goal. Yeah, um, one was holding the ball where she just like dived on it. Yeah, and then another one uh, where it was like a, a right contest, like directly in front yeah. of goal, and just came over. Shot and I'm like, oh, you, especially you when just, you're playing okay. And yeah. you, even if they were going to lose, at least yeah, make the margin a little yeah. bit closer. Yeah, a, a couple of goals in that kind of thing. It's it's a, a confidence herder. Um, but definitely want to talk about Emma King. Um, mm. She had a great game, but she did like a long bomb from like yeah. center center square. Massive, yeah, went, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like awesome. deep into forward fifty. I was like. Is that like a 60 meter In kick? the wet when the ball the, is like yeah. heavy as well. So maybe like, oh, fuck, she yeah. kick? she's good. One in the longest kick competition. Maybe, mm. we, maybe we should organize that. Mm. Yeah. Gerald, <laughs> yeah. you fine with that? <laughs> I got a thumbs longest up. Longest kick. The we'll get, we'll get, we'll get we've, still, we've still got ASICS content kept to come out. Yeah, we want a longest kick coming your way, 2027. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it did also help that Lauren Ahrens went down with a foot injury and then Deanna Berry. Illness, half time, done. Yeah, Illness, what was I that didn't even see I'm that. assuming oh. there's a stomach bug or a flu or an E issue. There's got to be something there yeah. to stop you playing from flu. Maybe like yeah. before the game, yeah. she wasn't feeling great. She and then and she's and like, oh, like, I'm fine. And then halfway through, she's like, oh, or, this is good. Or oh, she came off as a starter right at half. So I went, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I'm going to get the showers. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I'm pro of that. Uh, so, yeah, as we said, Libby Birch was absolutely <laughs> phenomenal in defense. I do want to point out uh, Talia Randall. Mm. Had two of the worst kicks for goal I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. one, Usually very accurate. Yeah. One sailed through the middle, like but was like sideways and rumbling, tumbling, yeah. and the other one went straight out in the floor. Yeah. And Daniel Harford was just like, they have been two of the biggest shanks I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them went straight through the middle. It was That's a part of wet weather footage. So when she lined yeah. up, it wasn't raining at the time. Oh, so yeah, when she lined up for wet. the second one, I was like, ah, oh, this will probably be a shank. And just went, Bow! Yeah. Straight off to the left. I was going to just talk about Neve Martin as well. Go for it. She just kicked. I didn't even know she had that in her bag. A really good left foot snap uh, for goal as well. On her opposite foot. Really good. She got two goals. Uh, what else did she have? Six tackles. Really yeah. good in the forward line. Yeah. Cool. Uh, fan base is North. Like, yeah, flaggers. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, uh, yeah. This happens a lot, though, for North. We, we have a really, really good season. And then we come yeah, with the last thing. So I'm uh, very, very happy believe. being a North fan at the moment. Absolutely. Mm. Dogs like, uh, it's North. At least our defensive pressure was good. Like, other than this week, their last month yeah. has been either competitive or they've it's won. It's like, yeah, so. we've won a couple of games. We played north. Their defensive pressure was good. Like, uh, Griggy laid eight tackles. Yeah, oh, She's Griggy. really good. Yeah. Like, the intensity at the ball from Griggy. Yeah. Oh. Everyone go, what, watch her. She's going to throw herself in and she's going to Zach Butters it. Yeah. And just oh, yeah. crash in. Like that yeah. And does it every time, so. Yep. Big fans of Greek here. All right, let's move on. This is your game. Richmond defeated Collingwood 7-4-46 to 1-4-10. I just wrote the lightning game. The lightning game. I like how it's like, uh, there's 90 seconds left. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll get them off in 90 seconds. Yeah, it was a great shot with the, the umpire yeah, it throwing it that in. That was sick, it was yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. The Richmond Station skyline. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're just going, probably. Like, yeah. Oh, that's a bit of thunder. Yeah. Lightning. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, you take us through that. You were there. You nearly died. It was Chaos. great. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <That> <laughs> a bit, a bit of hyperbole involved there. <laughs> oh, we could just pretend that. Huh? Um, no, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was pretty full on. It was my first um, rain delay that I've, I've had on post. a post. Absolutely, I left my post. 
And my Especially shoes if you're were holding still an umbrella, warm. a metal pole going. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. Like. So I couldn't have. I couldn't have. I did go to put it up at one stage because it started raining. Yeah. I like being out there. I want to see what the crowd's doing and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And then one of the guys from Fox was like, "No, you've got to put that down. Yeah. That's yeah. literally a lightning rod." And I was like, "Ah, yeah. oh, <laughs> cool." <laughs> public schooling system at yeah, it again. Public school. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. No poncho. It was. I don't poncho. Oh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> the way you said that. Yeah, I don't that was poncho. An Alex. I agree. That. I don't poncho. Serious. I don't think you do. I don't poncho. I don't you poncho. Stay, you're in the MCC in the stands. You <laughs> shut up. Nah, you that's tough. true. That's true. You yeah. don't poncho. Yeah. I don't poncho either. Yeah. yeah. I don't poncho. <laughs> I, I just, just like that I, sentence. I, I, don't know sit, why. I sit undercover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. Okay, yeah. So this we'll get to it, the game, ridiculousness aside. Richmond were very good. Yeah, they were great, they were yeah. really good. <clears throat> We've really liked them um mm-hmm. in the wet. And as I spoke about last week, Mon Conti just oh. sees it as an extra challenge. I spoke to her after the game and she was like, Yep, absolutely. I That's see it as an extra yeah, yeah, oh. see it as an extra challenge and I go for it and I want to thrive in it. Yeah, so, she had 30 disposals, seven clearances, and had the ball on a string, even though the tough can hit like if if there was any player in the whole competition you want to choose for, to play in the wet, yeah. I'm choosing her. And she um yep, yeah. she didn't get tagged, and then I watched yeah. later in the game, mm. and they started to tag her. Somebody okay. was like right on her, and then Richmond brought in a player to take out the tagger. So oh, that oh, long, oh, tactics like, galore. Oh. The fact that I you're going like, into a game yes. and not tagging her when she has been tagged only the season, she might get 19 or 20 disposals, not 30. I think is very dumb. Like, yeah. even if you don't have a specific tagger, just put someone just to run next to her because she Physical clearly doesn't like presence. it. Yeah, mm. that was a bit surprising. I reckon. Mm. Ali McKenzie, I wrote down, was really good as well. Yeah, got she's a couple. Great. Of, uh, got a goal from midfield. Yeah, Mid- that's the other thing. The good teams are kicking goals from midfield. Their yeah. midfield yeah. connections yeah. working well. Is, they, yeah. yeah. Well, they took eleven marks inside fifteen, kicked six goals. So yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah what awesome. else do you need? At quarter time, um, I was listening into the huddle. Ryan Ferguson, Richmond coach, um, was like, I want you to be really aggressive on deep entries inside forward 50. He's like, get it in there, yep. get it out the back. Um, he said, but at the same time, <laughs> if you want to lower your eyes and there's an option shorter, yep. take that. Um, and I thought that they did both of those things Perfect. really, really well. Um, another person I want to mention for Richmond, sorry, we'll, we'll mention uh, – Someone from Collingwood soon. But <laughs> Why? They got belted. Sabrina <laughs> Fredericks got reported. Oh, well, yeah. Did, she just got a fine. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Fine. That's okay. Um, Kate Dempsey, uh, mm. winger for Richmond. So her average disposals have doubled this year from yeah. 11.4 to 20.6. Uh, also, her meters gained last year went from 165 and is 396 Ooh. this year. Awesome. So she's seventh overall in the comp for meters gained, but the highest for a winger. Mm-hmm. Um, and I read an, an interview with her and she said that, you know, the the way the game is really opening up and the flow of how it's going at the moment, teams are really utilising uh, their wings, wings yeah, you know, yeah. to go from back line to forward line. Um, and she's been just really important in maintaining that outside structure and also helping out in defense as well. So she's having an awesome, absolute yeah. ripper. I was just started to key in on her stats and mm. I was like, oh, wow. That's, that's she's awesome, she's man. really, really good. So great improvement there and great to see, you know, the wingers getting a bit yeah. more of the ball now that we're playing this great Perfect. open free for footy. Perfect. Also, Tamara Luke, out of retirement, yes. two goals. Yeah, how good is that? She looks so good. Yeah, yeah. You know you can just tell, like, an old school footballer who's been playing for a They're really, the right really zone. long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. Really yeah. like it. It's like that pl- person you used to play in seconds that's played first forever and yeah. somehow they always oh, end up. Every, always get it. Monday Night Basketball, we play these old guys, you're going, oh, they're, they're a bit old than us. We can run them off their legs and they'll just be like throwing passes over yeah. their head. But they're, they're just, just smart. But it's smart. always like. They take 47 uncontested mics. Like, how are you on your own again? <laughs> yeah. This makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. no, it's like table tennis for me. Played a lot as a kid. Like yeah. I could just rock up to a table I tennis was not game and be it. like, I will school you every single time. <laughs> well, we Do you know what I mean? We've got a go. table. We've got a, table. We've got a couple why of you not challenged AFLW me? AFLW tournament. No, we, I was about to say, we've just got a couple of serious players out the back there that we could, we could step <laughs> right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step right up, have a crack. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Rowe has been in phenomenal form She last really week. has. She was great. She's such the little yep. underdog, Rowie, um, but she was really good. Another Irish. Just likes the uh, yeah, yeah just, the weight conditions. Just whack like Ireland, maybe yeah. Yeah, I wrote down as well. Pies were trying to play positive and like play on a lot, but they got caught a lot holding the ball because yeah. Richmond are good pressure. Yeah, and it's you could tell that the pies were like told to play on, play a bit more positive, but they just need to choose their uh, bit moments of, bit of, a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah a bit of uh, <clears throat> knowing the game situation yeah. at hand. Yep, I thought Slasher <laughs> was really good again. Yep. Um, I thought she was going to kick another goal there, but yeah. it was a behind. 
Um, they're putting her around the ball a lot more, more recently. Middle, yeah, yeah. And I spoke to her about that recently and I was like, you're getting a run. She's like, I'm a, like, I'm a really good runner. Mm. Um, so you might as well put her in. The, yeah. The, and so she's like, I feel like I'm it. really, really um, able to get out there and utilize that now. So she's really enjoying her footy, which cool. I love. Fan bases, Richmond are like, suck it, Bryony, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that in the huddle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, uh, no, I heard that when I was yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> we told you, we're yeah. good. They are very good. Top I'd four. like to put out that Moncon could probably go back to back this year. Oh, no. no. I said Marinoff at the start of the season. I'm still Wait, it's Marinoff. Marinoff, I agree with Conti. that. I agree with yeah. that. I'm looking elsewhere because, like you said, You're probably boats, gonna say boats could Sydney be taken off. Well, that's the point. Oh, I'll of use course the you are. You can't. What's that? How can Laura Garden not have two votes a game at the moment? Oh, stop. No, yeah. but you, where is Sydney on the ladder compared to? Yeah, yeah, but the fact is that their draws, yeah, but their draws not good, and she's been their best player oh. every game, and they've been smashed once. Yeah, but Sydney are twelfth, and Richmond. Uh, yeah, and but, Adelaide are yeah, but that's when you could have Katie yeah. Brennan, Hosking, all taking votes <laughs> off her. Whereas the same with Mar we've got the Marinoff issue with Anne Hatchard and the other stealing votes off at North Melbourne, uh, Libby Birch, Talia Randall, Sheila, all that. And this is where I'm going to get to for the next all game. All right, fair enough. Because. Ella Roberts could win best and fairest this year. Yeah, she can have a sniff at it, mate. But, but she's they don't have enough win. games. I know what you're saying. I know what you're when saying. you're only playing 12 games and you're not playing against the best teams every week, yeah. you can dominate and be like, oh, yeah, you're going to be a mile in front. Are right. we only playing 11 games? Or are we playing 12? 11 games. 11 games. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was like... Yeah. Oh, we've lost. We've got another, we've another, lost Alex one. just wants yeah. more. 12 next year. 12 I want more year. footy. Yeah. 12 in 12 weeks, though. That'd be nice. Anyway, that's where we're moving to over in Perth as West Coast 5636, a rundown by Frio 7749. Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. I'm looking at Frio down the sheet. Uh, West Coast <laughs> beat Port Adelaide for all those playing at home. Port Adelaide beat West Coast, actually. <laughs> <laughs> West Coast 36, Port Adelaide 49. There, there you go, Alex. Well done, Port Adelaide. <laughs> well done to Port Adelaide. There anyway, <laughs> if you watched the first quarter, you probably saw one of the best individual quarters we will see all year. Yes. Ella Roberts, happened. I may have said it to a good friend of the show, Eliza Riley. It's like, she's going to win the best and fairest. Uh, she'd had 11 touches, six marks, and a goal by quarter time. And then it all stopped for West Coast and Ella Roberts. Yeah. They got run over by Port Adelaide, Ported, which was yeah. really weird. But I do want to point out one of the best passages of footy I've seen this year. Mm. It started in D54 West Coast. Ella Roberts gives the dusty, don't argue, fend off, kicks it long into a contest. It spills. Someone gets front and center. West Coast are out the back straight mm, away. Yeah, yeah. They kick it long into a one-on-one -on -one contest, and I can't remember the Port Alley defender's name. She dives on the ball, and two West Coast people are like, nah, we're going to get pressure, in there. Yeah. And it was the second person who dived in for the tackle. I think it was Bell Bella Lewis yep. has come in second and has stolen the free kick away <laughs> and has kicked the goal. I was like, that doesn't feel right. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And that's probably the highlight for West Coast because after quarter time, Port Adler just went, hey, you know what? Mm. Nah, not going to happen. Uh, they took forever to get in this game. But once they clicked, their pressure was phenomenal. Mm. Didn't did help that, you know, they got a stupid 50-meter penalty when uh, – Wackfer rolled the footy back. That was mm. yeah, well, really dumb. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to give You can't those... roll the footy back. No, just we, give it back it, to him. It's, it's, it's a very simple rule. Well, yeah. We said last week that under <laughs> nine stuff with uh, Lucy McAvoy going through the post, yeah. that's under nine stuff. Yeah, like, 100%. Honestly. And then you've got that on the back of Abby Darrett getting eight clearances, Gemma Houghton kicking two goals. That snap. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. How good, good is Houghton? Yeah. Houghton also, is so good, yeah. yeah. Long sleeves in the hot weather. I got that. Superstition, I think. I got yeah. uh, Nanscorn for Essendon and Prosparcus from uh, Geelong. 30 degrees in all of them, and they're all wearing longies. I don't yeah. know how. I don't know Sun's how you can safe. wear long sleeves in like 18 to I 20 mean, degrees for footy, I can let understand alone the Geelong one because there's a bit of white on the sleeve, mm. but the Essendon one, it's black. black. Adding it to the list of weird so things hot. Alex notices, yeah. but I like this one for once. <laughs> I like the uh, long sleeves in 30 degrees. I don't know how you can, but they just, Mm. Orton still played, killed it, so yeah. Yeah. do what you want. They kicked five goals either side of halftime just to set this win up, and West Coast just, despite winning every stat mm -hmm. possible, they just got through them. Do they take that out as a, a positive? or Daisy what? seems like a very level-headed coach that would She seemed that. flat yeah. in the press conference yeah. and yeah. thrown one away because yeah. that's a, you win that, you've nearly got yourself in finals. Yeah. And now they're back in the pack a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I did like Sinead Goody running the tag on Ella Roberts after quarter time. I was like, yeah. oh, this is a great way Very to Very versatile, yeah. Goody, because usually you'd be like, cheap. oh, she's the catalyst of getting a few clearances, and then she's going to do a tag. That's yeah. Eight tackles. And eight tackles, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's awesome. Very good. I feel like she could do anything, yeah. Goody. She'd be, uh, she'd be up for anything. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna put you as full forward today. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, like, just go for it. She'd go. be like, absolutely, I've <laughs> yeah, trained yeah. my whole life for this. Yeah. You know? I like that, yeah. She's like, I have a go person. Yep. 
So Port have only had 40 okay. inside 50s and they only took 29 marks overall to 50. Like this is a smashing everywhere but the scoreboard. Yeah. And they're like, dubs. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't say how many marks they got on the uh, on the score sheet. No. Yeah. Uh, I did enjoy the game from uh, Mat- Mat- Matilda Schultz with uh, 23 hitouts, but six clearances. That follow-up work from Ruck. Yeah, you need that I've from a Ruck. Yeah. Is so important throughout yeah. the year. It's what Eilish O'Dowd have been doing for the Giants when they won those couple of games. Exactly, yeah. So really good job all around by Port to turn that because at quarter time this, hey, look, this was over. yeah after yeah. quarter time it was five goals no sorry seven goals to two yeah, yeah. So, awesome so big turnaround but once again you know Bell Lewis Thomas really good again for West Coast but this is a game they're going to if they miss the finals this right, is the game yeah probably because it could call. be Port could yeah. jump and possibly because yeah. they're only one game behind I thought Charlotte Charlotte Thomas was really good yeah. too 10 intercept possessions um, five score involvements 24 disposals which yeah. is awesome and Port Abby Darrick she yeah, was yeah awesome Abby as well. What? Very good. I think underrated. We, we, we've been talking about it, but a lot yeah. of people aren't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, West Coast fans like, oh. A little bit. You'd be disappointed as yeah. a West Coast fan, um, yep. especially coming out so strong. Um, but Port Adelaide, we know, are just one of those scrappy teams. Yeah. And they just do not give up. No, at all. not at all. Yeah, absolutely. And Port Adelaide, hell yeah, found a way. Finals chances back on. Yep. yep. Absolutely. I'm pretty happy. Let's get to Icon Park, Carlton's 1,000th game. Yes, it's, at Icon Park. It's one in the record books, or 1,000th game for premiership points. It's one for the record books, but it's one they'll be trying to forget very quickly. Mm. One goal, 7-13, belted. Embarrassed? Uh, By the Brisbane Lions, nine yeah. goals, 14-68. No, nah, I'm calling it. That's an embarrassment. It's really it, it, it's really hard. We're, we're seeing um, some really big discrepancies <clears throat> in... Um, quality of teams this year. Yes. Not, uh, it's a little bit indication of where the league is at. Yep. Be- because we've expanded so quickly, but it's also like these injuries that <laughs> yeah. teams are having uh, blowing out the scores. Yeah. Like Carlton this. haven't kicked more than two goals since round three. Okay. That's a while. They had one goal seven. So they, they, I know that it was in the wet and there were yeah. probably a few rushing things like that, but they, they did have it in their four. It was very similar to the North game where North uh, smashed them as well, but they had it in their four line a lot. Just couldn't hit the scoreboard yeah. again, which is They've a bit of a worry. Kicked 15 goals, 35 this year. They've gone zip six, one, four, one, seven. 15, 35. 35. Yeah. Jeez. Far out. Yeah. That's not, that's, that's not, not ideal. No. Um, I mean, the Lions are arguably one in the, like, the, one They're of the top best. three, right? Yeah. Yep. Other um, side, Brisbane have kicked 45-53. Okay. That's, that's, that's a lot of goals. That's yeah. a lot of yeah. goals. Um, they dominated centre clearances as well, yep. um, 11 to 2. Um, they also had nine, nine more free kicks as well. well that's what um, happens when you get your hand to the footy, get to the footy first. You're probably yeah. going to get the high tackles. You're in the backs. Yep. Yep. And if you pressure the late, you're going to get more holding the balls as yep. well because Cartman getting the ball going, uh, uh, what, ah! what are we? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think. Bree Conan is so so good, yeah. so good, so solid, and so reliable. And she just reads the ball so well. Oh. She's always in the right place at the right time. Yeah, she had uh, six intercepts. Well, yeah, we had six disposals, which is perfect for a like modern defender taking yeah. marks. Yeah, awesome. yeah, she's awesome. And Smith only got um, one on the board this week because she had a little ankle roll mm. there. I was surprised she mm. came back um, on the ground, but um, they need her. Yeah, uh, they need her. Like we leading want her to win kicking. leading yeah. goal kicker. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she would have liked to get a couple more on the mm. on the board for that. But really, really, really happy um, with their game. Yeah, absolutely. We got uh, Charlie Mullins on the wing, 23 disposals and a goal. Probably, I think it was career best dis- uh, stats across the board for for her, which is awesome. I read down Conan as well. Carlton actually sent Anthony to, uh, Mariana Anthony to Ali Anderson. Oh, yep. And kept her to a season low 90 disposals, but... <laughs> She also had the game high nine clearances. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's like, the fact she's getting tech, she's like, oh, I'm still going to get clearances. Even I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get 40 touches. Yeah. But I'll still get nine clearances. Like, yeah. Nine clearances out of your nine in disposals. That is nuts. Huge. That is nuts. Huge. She's just awesome. So Anthony actually did a really good job around the ground. Just some of the clearances could have been a little bit tighter. But yeah. I didn't mind the idea to tag because mm. Anderson's yeah one of their best players. Yeah. Mm. Fan bases, Carlton. Oh, we're not good. <laughs> no, that's true. But are you injuries? extra tough on Carlton sometimes? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I actually don't. Like Carlton are just a team that are just like there for me. Like there's no hatred for them whatsoever. Yeah. I think they've got a, like, a lot of good young players as well. We did say at well. the start of the right. year they need to, their programs trying to turn around. We saw bits and pieces to start the year. Now they're in the middle of the year. Not like they've, they've got a good midfield, but they just can't kick a goal. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. yeah. And Brisbane, yeah, we're, we're awesome. Like this yeah. is great. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the conditions, they just. 
put on a massive score. Yep. So you'll, yep. they'll, they'll be very happy. Sunday up at what is it? GMA, not GMHBA. People's uh, first. People's first. Yeah. I was going to call it Heritage Bank. Like they've, they've changed their name every. It two changes. Years, I think. Like yeah. honestly, I, you tell you what you need to change Gold Coast is your kit, your logo, and everything. Well, they are. They are. I know. Soon, I think yeah. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> I love the trumpet. You can keep the trumpet. As Gold Coast were defeated by Essendon, twenty-seven to thirty-six. <laughs> Essendon three in a row. It's clicking. Yes. It's, clicking. it's doing a little bit. I wouldn't call it clicking just yet. Yeah, they beat the team that hasn't won a game, but I mean, it is yeah, clicking. I'm, hey! I was going to say, you've held on against the Swans and Gold Coast. Is it yeah. clicking or it's like, yeah. <laughs> you, these ones needed to be um, in the bank. Yeah. 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 At least they've gone this stretch with three wins in a row and not 2-1 because then you'd be disappointed and go, oh, can they still make finals? But Alex yeah. is back on the uh, the finals bandwagon. I was never <laughs> off, baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. We'll just rewind the, a few podcasts. What are you talking about? I was always <laughs> on board with Essen in top four. Um, oh. I thought George and Anne Scorn was really good as per usual. Yeah, the thing so I consistent. like about her is she just blasts out of the yeah. stoppage. Yeah, I also you, can't, you can't grab her. Like yeah. they can't no. literally get onto her. She's got so much power. Um, but she's quite a petite player too. So I want to know if there's extra power at intake needed given the long sleeves. Like I'm thinking there's extra sweat <laughs> extra down power, on there. Eh? More, more salts. Yeah, like more, more salts. electrolytes. Yeah, losing more fluids the wearing the long sleeves. You've thought about everything. Oh this man, weekend. I think I, about all this I stuff. Don't, I don't mind it. Yeah, extra yeah. power for sure. This is where the game where the plaster on the nose was. Either that or just really heavy sunscreen just on the nose. Who? And a player from Gold Coast who I've just completely spaced on. Yeah, that's all right. In well, their midfield. They, they know how to slip, slop, slap yeah. on the goalie. Absolutely. It was hot. It was 31 degrees up there and Oof. you could sort of tell at times when there'd been like two or three minutes of continuous football. It's like, oh, thank God there's an outlet mark down the line. Gold Coast, We've said it all year. Their defense is lacking. Sometimes the board get out the back. There's no one there. And they, they get go, silly free kicks. Their defense is a little bit well. more I thought the umpiring, was, I thought the umpiring was terrible. The yeah, umpiring was terrible. It was horrendous okay. in this okay. game. Really? Yeah. Just watching, I was like, there was free kicks that were there that weren't given. And there was free kicks that were balls, definitely yeah. not yeah. there. It's just like, what As are we, we doing? About. Yeah. They don't pay on the ball enough. Like, yeah, they reward don't. the tackler yeah. sometimes. Or it's all that. Or it's like someone picks it up. It's been better this season for holding the ball than it has previous seasons. But. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just on this ugh, bad umpiring. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Essendon, um, Essendon won this game in the third quarter. Just they were like, Three okay. goals to zero in the yeah. third. Yeah. yeah. They were yeah. awesome in the third quarter. Um, Need Banner started just well, kick yeah. a goal. It's, he's up, <laughs> You're up not and asking down, for a lot. Very up and down because you'll either kick two or three or have yeah. or hand off two or three. Yeah. Or, yeah, none, which, yeah, yeah definitely just need to be a bit, more, a bit more accurate. Yeah, a bit more accurate, a little bit more consistent. And, mm. again, Paige Scott. Really, really good in some yep. points, and then other points. I'm just like, <laughs> what have you done there? I feel like yeah. she's like a Scotty Lucas from back in the oh, SNA days. What a, that's you a know good where he would just go. He would just be so awesome, and then you'd just be like, what have you done? Yeah, yeah. Do you even play football? That sounds like our uh, theory on Joe Danaher. It's full joke. Yes, yes. he's exactly the full oh, joke. Literally, when you're Joe saying that, I'm like, like the current no, Joe. Joe, Joe yeah. Scott Joe Lucas Danner. and uh, Paige Scott. Like yeah. someone, it could someone be the best said player. It's, it's Joe's, Jason and Kurt. Yeah. Someone said someone, Joe's going to go down as one of the great all-time full forwards. It's like, I'm sorry, Joe, but you didn't even kick more than two goals a game for your career. No, but when he, when, when he was no, at his no, best. No, no, no. <laughs> you're, you're, you're an enigmatic forward. <laughs> there you go, enigmatic. Enigmatic, That's right. Not, yeah, I'd take that on a CV. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'll put it on mine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you are enigmatic. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, How are you feeling as an Essendon fan? I was really happy to have Bonnie yeah. back. Yes, that um, was very handy. You could tell yeah, she was first up. A handy P. Yeah. A she handy P. Better for it. Oh, next yeah. Week. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even she better. just needed to get back in five possessions. There's a couple of yeah. good marks there. I was yeah. just like, okay. And then there was a few times where she found herself just like in the wrong spot. You're like, oh, my God, you're there. Oh. Uh, yeah, and and I just yeah. like in a couple of the contests she was like, won't yeah, go, I think first one back, one. just in yeah. the back of your head, come back from injury. 100%. Hopefully that first game, because she's a superstar, I think she'll yeah. click in the next game or two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. She would have just been really happy to be back out there. Yeah, yeah. and Gold Coast fans just like, oh, God damn. They, they're, I was going to say, the biggest disappointment. Oh, they were really they good are. last year. Made the finals. I know they had an easier run, but to not win a game yet and sort of lose their identity is yeah. a bit sad. They yeah, it is really sad. Yeah, because they've been really good. Yeah, <sighs> not ideal. Anyway, Hedson Park. This is the one rare time where my like obvious football rule is broken of you kick more goals than the other team, you win the game. As the Sydney Swans <laughs> lost to Geelong, 6 5 41 to 5 14 44. <laughs> 5 14, Geelong. 14. I think Sydney got a bit lucky here with 5 14 tour. That is, that's not good kicking. Yeah, there was a ridiculous wind towards the left of screen if you're watching at home. A 10 of the 11 goals were kicked to that end. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know it was that many. 
I just can I can I get my Beck Privatelli angry out of the way? Go, just go off on. the top. Okay. Well, I said it two weeks ago. <laughs> Privatelli, you're a great mark. You're a great forward. You're a great set shot. You're a good player. Stop with this around the corner rubbish. <laughs> You did it again. <laughs> you had a snap from 15 metres out on a slight it look, angle. It looks cool. It didn't make the <laughs> distance. Thank God Paris McCarthy was there to kick one of the goals of the year. Bang, straight over the back of the head. It was <laughs> sick. Take a goddamn set shot. Stop snapping it from 15 metres out and missing. You're lucky. Surely they'll be practising that during the week, like, to not do that. That's why it's happened three times in a week, so I clearly don't think she's practising. <laughs> Mm. She did it against uh, Essendon. She took a set shot and nailed it. Yeah. I agreed with the quick play on in the last quarter to kick the goal because it's like, all right, time's running out. We've got to kick yeah, the goal. Yeah. All for that. Just take your time. Yeah. Please. I'll go with that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Okay. okay. That's, really- it. that's ended quite well. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. Ended, I think you're back. You're back. I think you've, you've done well there. Yeah. No, but then we're going to talk about Geelong. They were awesome. Georgia Prisbarkas, always, always solid. Yeah. Really good coming back from injury. It was the last week, so but they yeah. had two games last week. Really good coming back from injury. You got Web, Webster. I've got him in my FRW fantasy team. Absolute lock. She's awesome every mm-hmm. week. Uh, Rebecca Webster, yeah. Do I, I, got, I have Featherston in my fantasy team. Featherston, yeah. Okay. Featherston. Solid. Yeah, yeah. Featherston. I'm loving Crockett Grills yeah. at the moment. She's what really <laughs> right. That's, and I think that's that why. Is that the best I, name in footy? <laughs> no, no. Body too good. Body too good is pretty good, yeah. Double hyphen from the Western Bulldogs. Oh, yeah, oh, Western Chrissy Lee, Turner. Western Turner. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Well, um, Crockett Grills had 17 disposals and a goal, yep. but she's <clears> really, really composed and um, just continually improving. In 2022, she was averaging only eight disposals a game. Yep. Last year, 11. This year, 14. Like, she's just being able to, like, chip away, improve, um, yeah, and she's yep. been been getting up forward a little bit more in the last couple of games as well. So it's been it's been nice. Awesome. Um Jack Parry, yes, amazing. Really good, yeah. And Maloney, I, mm. she's so good. Yep. I just wanted to kick better also. Yeah. Kick a little, yeah. She always, she always has two goals too or, yeah, or yeah, one yeah. goal too. Yeah. Where, and she's getting a lot of the ball even yeah. for a tall, but yeah. yeah, 100%. She just needs to be a little bit more accurate and she could be the leading goal kicker. 100%. In a few, yeah. the next season. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm watching her and being like, yeah. oh, my God, what a waste. Yeah. Like, you're you're so much better than that. So yep. yeah, no, she she should be up there in still two goals, goals but could have had probably three or four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time for Alex to play Sydney Swans. Bingo! <laughs> All right, well, what do we got? I haven't heard of this one. <laughs> Laura Gardner was awesome once again. Could be one of the best players in the competition this year, if not top five. Sophia Hurley did her job. Tanya Kennedy beat Georgie Prasparkas on the day. Hundred <laughs> mm-hmm. percent. Laid nine tackles, bunch of clearances, set up one of the goals with really quick hands. Uh, Mini Cooper taking a couple of grabs. Did enjoy her. And Sophia Hurley continues to play well. Sophia Hurley was really mm, yeah, good. Yeah, Hurley was I'll, really good, actually. Like her, yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, and I also enjoyed the work of uh, Alice Mitchell and, of course, the uh, Hamiltons doing their job. Yep. Sydney bingo. Tick, 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 tick. And then tick. Geelong were being smart with the ball, which would have uh, pissed off Sydney Swans fans. They were like, was it? Yeah, 55 minutes out. So you wrote this down. I was going to write this down as well. Holding up the ball. Very smart. Just getting the clock run down. There's also <laughs> got to be a bit of like umpire going, hold on. You're into like a massive wind. You- you're not kicking it this but far. But it's within That's the not rules. For the, um, it's not you you could say you're state. on the you could say you're on the wing and go, yeah, I'm having a shot. Yeah, but then the umpire <laughs> can go, no, play on. I don't know. I actually don't know what the rule that's is up on to, that. No, yeah. that's up to the umpire. Like if, if it's yeah. Joey Duckett's from 60, like, yeah, that, that's fair. Either way, it was smart by Geelong as well. Yeah, know yeah. what? 100%. There's probably, what, four players that could have a set shot from 55 in the AFLW? Maybe he doesn't know all of those players. But also into the wind when there's been one goal kicked into it all day. <laughs> I think it's I not. think it was smart, but as a Sydney oh, Swans it's, fan, it's you'd on, be annoyed. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's smart, but it's honestly taking the piss. Have, <laughs> have some game sense, umpire. Even Fair the enough. commentators, Jason I Bennett. I love it when he gets upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Bennett was like, what are we doing? He's <laughs> yeah. got no chance. But he was like, smart gameplay. Mm. It was. Um, as a Swans fan, this last week, as a W fan not specifically, good, yeah. so frustrating mm-hmm. because they should have won all three of those games yeah. and they'd be seventh. That'd be like a big chance of playing finals yeah. with everyone that they've got out. Like still no Montana ham. Morford's out for the rest of the season. <laughs> yep. They rested Berylton because Scotty Ghost ones, that's what we call him instead of Scotty Gowans. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, too much footy. No, that's that's fair. you got to rest. It was their the fourth game in 14 days. Or same yeah. with Geelong as well. It was their fourth game in 15 days. Yeah. That's so, not good. So I'm starting to think that we love footy. Like feed us footy. Yeah. yeah. No more midweek footy after this year. Yeah, yeah. It's, I reckon it's, it we is need to good because go. you can see more footy, but it's not helping the injuries. No. It's not helping the crowd. Uh, it's not helping. Start anything. the season three weeks earlier, and uh, all right, we're playing. Everyone's playing thirteen games because for some reason we can't play seventeen, and mm-hmm. just go. All right, let's go. Here we go. 
there's your 12 week run to still end that first week of December. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's not that hard. No, fair call. I don't mind that. Anyway, it'll be base. interesting to see what they come out with next year. Fourteen games in twelve weeks. Yeah, yeah. No, probably. I don't think they'll do that, but I think they'll. I think there'll be definitely be a change up next year. Do you reckon we'll get to sixteen games? No, no, no. no. It's going to go up it's, slowly. It's, it's going to go to twelve. Like yeah. it's 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 in the books already that it yeah. goes up to twelve. Um, but, but in it's terms a bit more of out. like the time of year, I wouldn't be surprised if we see. And earlier, so I think you should be more double heads with the wins. Yeah. Wouldn't we just start two weeks early if we're gonna if we're just sort of locked on with finishing it in the um fin- like have, making sure finals have their own like run in mm-hmm. and having it end that like last week in November because the grand finals the thirtieth of November. Yeah, maybe they won't do double headers with men. They okay, we, don't, yeah. we don't have the production crew. True, true, true. All of the AFLW is still run by all of the AFL staff. There you go. So oh yeah, because then if it's double header, then du- like even the people, crew yeah. at Fox Sport at Channel Seven, like all that, that kind of stuff. Mm. There's just not enough people to behind run the scenes stuff. All we don't of know that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So I, like that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's we start the women's and then go into the men's. Yeah. Okay. They did that. Well, they've done that before. Yeah. Wait, so that means, well, they've done it over. But over summer, that well, was a bit too early because that that's that ridiculous. That was too much. That's but ridiculous, yeah. yeah. I, Just a bit before. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Interesting. Well, it's only, yeah, 12 plus finals. So, yeah. yeah. We've got three or four weeks. months. Yeah. Fan base of Swans are just, as I said, like, God damn it. <laughs> Real, like, annoying losses the last week. Like, yeah. should have won. <laughs> Should have won two of them. I can call one. Should have probably won if they kicked a bit. Yeah, but the Swans had eight minutes and the win to kick a goal and couldn't do it. Yep. So anyway, uh, Geelong, like, sure. They push them back up there again. 11th. I think they're unsure because, like, their team should be right up there. They draw draw against North. They don't kick a goal against Carlton. They play in the best AFLW game ever. (laughs) Yeah. And then they kick five goals, 14, and still somehow win a game. It's such a weird season. They They have no height. They, yeah. They need, they need someone tall. Yeah. Fair. Let's get to the final game of the weekend. Fremantle 3 7 25, beaten by the Hawthorne Hockballers 5 4 34. We've talked about the injuries off the top. Three of them to Hawthorne. So massive, yeah. massive result for Hawthorne to get the win with only two on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll be hoping Stone and Stratton will be okay for the next game. But yeah. Yeah. Beardley will be out as we talked about before. Yep. Mm. What do we reckon from here? Uh, Hawthorne have now won four in a row. Uh, Bates in West, great again. Also, yep. Fleming popping up early with a uh, goal. Yeah. Fleming's she, so good. She yeah. was, yeah, she's really good. Um, also, just love Anya McDonough as well. Yes. She's just hard at it. Uh, hard at it, elite at everything, gave a, a lot of hands off for some goals and that kind of stuff mm-hmm. as well. I just, yeah, love watching her play. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, for Freeman, it's like, is that one that we could have maybe snuck in? Yeah, 100%. A hundred percent. I don't think Fremantle were at their best yesterday. Mm. They um, did hold down like decently defensively because Hawks have been scoring what sixty plus points almost every yeah, game. Yeah. So they only to only concede thirty four was pretty solid. I thought yeah. you did say about Bates and West they combined for thirty eight disposals, twelve clearances, and twenty one tackles, which is awesome. But then you compare that to Ebony Marinoff. That's what, how good Marinoff has gone. She yeah. had seventeen tackles herself, and they were combining for twenty one. And then they're getting a lot of goals from midfield, the Hawks, which yeah. I, I think you got all of the top five teams are kicking goals from midfield, and that's why they're they're just going so well. It's yeah. just awesome. Yeah. And don't know Freo's a tricky team. Game. Yeah. yeah. Like Freo are good. Yeah. But they're not going to win the flag. No. Whereas if Hawthorne all of a sudden hit this. Hawthorne map, have have yeah, their Hawthorne best is up there. Explode into finals. You're like, oh yeah. Like that is an upset, few, but it makes sense. Cause if the upsets Hawks. Whereas yeah. Freo, if they get to a final against Adelaide, Adelaide will smash them. I don't think Hawthorne are causing any upsets against the top three no, teams. Not no, that's fair. No, that's fair. no, no maybe I don't think next so. Year, maybe, yeah, not this year. Um, as always, Ebony Antonio really um, stood up for yeah. Freo as well. She's she's, she's having yeah, she's having a ripper season as well. And just her leadership and presence on the field, I think, is really important for Freo. I think McCarthy as well, really underrated season. I think this is a yeah, career best season in terms of stats. She led the disposals again, absolutely awesome. Mm. Would Gab Newton be winning uh, Fremantle's best and fairest right now, given the injuries oh. that have been around her? Because she's played every that. game and she's been she's good. She's being really good, but uh, it's a tough one because they've had a she few be outs. Yeah. yeah. I haven't actually thought about that. Maybe. I think uh, actually, McCar- I think McCarthy I think will be. <laughs> I think McCarthy will be up there and O'Driscoll possibly. She's, really, oh, she's yeah. been really good. Love O'Driscoll. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Minstrom as well. Yeah. Uh, fan base is Hawth- uh, Hawthorne. Sick. We're six and one. This is great. They just get winning. We've only lost to Adelaide. How good is this? Yeah. yeah that is a big tick. I reckon they would have had that in their little vision board. Preseason, yeah, 
Yeah. What, six, six and one? Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess that they would. We didn't. No. But I think, but they, that, they, probably I think they definitely would have had that in there. Barista at my local cafe who watched our season preview said to me yesterday, I was like, why do you hate Hawthorne? I'm like, I don't hate Hawthorne. <laughs> we just didn't I said, think they were going to be I said, prove it to me. Yeah. They're proving it. Proving. Yeah, yeah that's true. Proven. That's yeah. true. Uh, and Freya like, okay. Like, it's like, sure. yeah, they just needed to kick a little bit more accurately and they probably would have won, but- well, because yeah. we're we're used to Frio winning those matches, right? Yeah, the because close they ones, like yeah. the close, the yeah. scrappy, they're really good under true, pressure. True. I was actually really impressed by the Hawks that they mm. were able to knuckle down and well, get yeah, the win. Because whoever won that game was going to jump into third. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh okay, let's get to the final couple of midweek games. Quickly talk about them. Uh seven fifteen on a Tuesday night at Frankston. For some reason not at Morabin. Oh, nice. One home game for you. St. Kilda <laughs> take on a GWS. Oh, boy, this could be ugly. It's It wouldn't be the first game on your list that you'd want to head down to. No. like not, If the Saints click, though, they could put a big score on here. Uh, yeah. Like, if they both play attacking footy, but, yeah, it's going to be like, interesting. It could be good. It, like there, It feels like there's no in-between. It'll either be really scrapping. It's like three goals to two is the winner, or it's like eight goals to four. I reckon seven. this is going to be open. GWS's yep. last game, they couldn't play that open style. They're going to be like, all right, we got to go back to our just playing really attacking footy. And same as the Saints. When they were attacking at the start of the season, we're like, they look awesome. They're going to be finals. They're in the first two games. In the first two games. I know it was very early. but One of them was against the Swans. Like it's not, It doesn't look great now. No, it doesn't. But <laughs> yeah. the fact that they could, yeah, they, they know they can score it was the, Actually, it was the Swans and the Gold Coast. Like, the a kill to frauds. <laughs> That's a Maybe. big call. Maybe. But they're playing GWS. If so they, they should win, win this game comfortably, yeah. then they're not. Are you thinking St. Kilda... Is going to win this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But only, only Are just. You? Yeah. I think St. Kilda There's still a better team than GWS, I think. I think. Do you reckon? It just. Yeah, yeah. Just. Bit of haterade. I don't yeah. mind. Yeah. Are you yeah. leaning towards GWS? I'm very disappointed in St. Kilda at the moment. Yeah, yeah I am too. Um, I'm not, you're not angry, just disappointed. That's, yeah, that's the vibe. Yeah. Going on um, but I reckon GWS has got like a bit of grit in yeah, them they and do, they've yeah. been showing that even though they haven't been getting wins on the board. They've okay. got the little bit of grit and I think that they could, yeah, it, things could open up. And, and I don't mind that, yeah. Mm. I think it is a tricky one even though the Saints are a bit higher on the ladder, yeah. Mm. What, do you mm. guys, what do you guys lean towards? St. Kilda by a girl. Oh. GWS by four points. Oh, nice. I'll go Saints by two goals. Why not? Nice. Uh, and the... Oh, Wednesday game is Adelaide taking on the D's at Norwood Oval. Historic rivalry. Great rivalry. Great rivalry, mm. yeah. Adelaide are going to smash them. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> so you got the head-to-heads are five all. You got the Crows winning by 10 last time. You got, I looked through it all like- It was in the final last year, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then I, I looked in like all of their meetings are all under like a couple of goals. Absolutely awesome games. Over 50 points each sometimes. Mm. I just don't see it. Melbourne can't kick a big enough score no. to keep up with Adelaide. Nope. Which is- which is sad because usually this is the big. I one of the biggest will games enjoy the, the midfield bat- battle of you know yeah. Hatchard and Marinoff up against Kate Hoare, uh, Sarah. Lane I don't know if she there. matches yeah. up that yeah. well. But you've got to Hanks. You've got to throw her yep. in the midfield. Get get hands on the footy. Yep. Yeah. I think where Adelaide will win this is their outside movement from clearance to mm-hmm. getting it to their outside runners. Do you think Melbourne are going to be looking at anything St Kilda did this week to be like make it hey, really defensive? How, I think. Yeah. How oh, do yeah. we how do we stop this? Yeah, I think they'll want to make it really congested flood like lots of areas because they can't kick a big enough score. So if they can get Adelaide under, I don't know, 35 points, then they'll go, oh, we've got a sneaky chance. But Yeah, mm-hmm. but then Kate Hoare has to kick two goals. You know the rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Kate yeah. Hoare kicks two, goal, two or more goals. Well, she win. didn't. She didn't. On last, yeah. Did she? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. But it's oh, So 90% so the of the time, gone. if she kicks two or more goals, they win. And I think it's like only like 40% of games that yeah. they win when she's kicking one I don't think she's kicking less. two from me. Uh, prove me wrong. That'd be, that'd be nice. Prove him wrong. <laughs> Adelaide by 33. Oh, I, no, I don't know. I'm going to do Adelaide by 25. Yep. I'll go Adelaide by 20. I think that Melbourne will be in it and then Adelaide at the end. Tipping results from the last weekend. Well done to the both of you. Yes. 11 of 12. That, I'm very happy with that. That's that is That is good. That is good. I got nine. Nine. That, that's he got nine. Yeah. Yeah, because he went Sydney. That was a bit. Nah, of, uh, I went Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Oh yeah. No, he tipped against Sydney. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Gold Coast, West Coast, and Geelong. West Coast wasn't a bad tip. Yeah. Mm. But I Ge- thought it was quite an easy round. Yeah, it was. It was. West Coast was your one wrong one. Stats guy, you tipped Geelong against Frio. I did. Yes. I forgot about that one. Mm. Mm. I, I believe in yeah, Geelong. I still believe. Yeah. And then West Coast. <laughs> they, they probably should have won that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, all right. Full credit. Best team of the round. The Hawkballers. They went two for two. Hawks. They, went, they went to Perth and won as well. Yeah. Hawthorne. Don't mind that. Yeah, I'm feeling Hawthorne as Hawthorne well. Hawthorne as well. Yeah. I'll, I'll just change it up. I'll go Port Adelaide. I think the fact that a lot yeah. of people thought West Coast were going to win, 
they charged home. They yep. at their best, they're still a good team that can push for the finals. The fact we that saw them up close, they're good. They're, they're a good team, I think. So they're pushing for finals now and there. Yeah, that's why I'm there. But best team of the round, best on ground of the week. Who was the best player that you saw? Stats man, easily, easily, Ebony Marinoff. I don't want to hear any other name after after that. Easily, uh, <laughs> Mon Conti or Mon Conti in the way. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not easily. I forgot about Mon Conti. I could argue Ebony. Monconti, both awesome. And yeah, Marinoff's on her way to another. Oh, and who have you chosen, Alex? I know, what a surprise. Sydney, <laughs> this is exactly like our men's show. Just comes back to Sydney every time. But Laura Gardner was good. I mean, Isaac Kenny was the best player in the best team throughout the year when they kept on winning. Yeah, where was he on grand final day? Yeah, uh, I think he was at home. Wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. he was in a moon boot. <laughs> he was hanging out with Essendon, doing nothing in September. Uh, body of work, Laura Gardner for, I don't tw- mind for 20 it, clearances and 60 possessions in two games. Like without her, the Swans one's get smashed in all of those games. Yep. Mm. Like she was that. the best player in both of those games. Fair so enough. That's to her. You had a bad review, but have you, did you do it? Did you forget? No, I, I thought we'd just keep the Maddie Press Parker. Okay. That was, that was pretty review. much yeah, bad. The review. bad review is to the wine car that uh, got in Maddie Presparkas at DMs. I hope she And then Maddie ta- Presparkas dominated on the field and absolutely. I honestly hope Maddie Presparkas tackles you with your phone in your <laughs> hand and it breaks. Yep. Yeah. Or you stub your toe on yeah. the corner of your couch yeah. every morning this week. <laughs> I hope, I hope that you trip over and you scrape your knee and your hands. Wet yeah, socks. That. Wet Top socks. That. <laughs> you have wet socks. Wet socks. <laughs> wet socks is the worst. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Wet socks. <laughs> yeah. Right. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let, I'll let, you no, I'll leave you to, to the, uh, to the uh, insults. You guys have gone too far already. I, yeah. think. I, I can't kill I was going to say, I hope they're an Essendon fan. <laughs> they go for the swan, so I really hate that person. <laughs> Remove the Errol Goulden photo, you jerk. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> on that positive note, as we love Errol here, uh, that'll do us for AFL today for, well, today. We'll be back on Thursday to review and preview whatever's going on this week. Just footy. Just more footy. Yes. Potentially an interview. I won't say it yet. Need to get it confirmed by a media manager. Thanks, Bryony. Thank you very much, Alex Donnelly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> thanks to the stats man for jumping on. Thank you very much. All right, remember to smash a like across the socials to see us doing a bunch of fun stuff throughout your footy season, filling in those gaps. Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok. Of course, YouTube. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Get into the comments. We will talk about the comments yes. if you get into the comments. We have plenty of them over on the men's show. Hit us up because we will talk about them, reply to you, all that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe and start on your podcast apps as well. Five-star review and a rating, all that good stuff. Cricket today, football today, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, and hold all tickets. We've got you covered for whatever sport you want except for rugby league because it sucks. Yep. Anyway, (laughs) that's it. We will catch you later in this week for more AFL Today. Till then, look after yourselves. Remember, footy's back. It's back. It's back.